I won't lie, it's spicier than I thought it would be. All right, Spice Kingdom, today we got something sweet, something special. Today's challenge is a very new thing for me, and that is Sri Lankan food. Over here at ABK, they do it how nobody can any other way. I heard it's tasty, and I heard it's spicy. So let's get straight to it. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hi, you're going to have spicy food today. All right, so what are you, what are you cooking back here? I'm going to cook you, uh, it's called beef kotu. Beef kotu. Very famous Sri Lankan uh, kotu parata that you made with beef curry. I heard that you're, you guys are famous for the kotu. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to give you. Is it super spicy or what? Yeah. Uh, so she's going to put uh, red onion, garlic ginger. So right two, now we got one egg or two eggs? Two, two, two eggs. eggs. That's a normal portion, yeah. And we uh, got carrots? Carrots, leeks. Green onions right there? Uh, green onion, uh, yeah, red onion. Yes. Habaneros? Habaneros, yes. <laughs> then uh, Sri Lankan uh, red chilies. Red chilies? Yeah. Right, and the that? naan bread that we make in the naan uh, bread? Yes. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. And the uh, soya, soya sauce. So that's soy so, sauce and naan bread right yeah, there. Yeah. Right, that looks good already. I mean, <laughs> I could eat it like that, you know? <laughs> so, how long have you guys been open here? Oh, this store is uh, 26 years old. 26 we years? We are the third owner. We have been here 12 years now. So you bought it 12 years ago? Yes. She's been here 20 years in 20 the same, years. same location. So she's the big boss. Yes, that's what I said. She's okay. the big boss and the little boss. All yeah. right, so... That's beef curry. Yeah, all the spices with coconut milk. Okay. The beef curry. Yeah, the uh, gravy, yeah. And that's beef, yeah. All right, so we got uh, the beef and then the beef yeah. curry. Yeah. So in the beef curry, what is the main ingredient in the beef curry? So in the beef curry, what is the main ingredient in the beef curry? Uh, it's uh, beef and all the Sri Lankan spices cooked with coconut milk. Okay. Yeah. So Sri Lankan spices, is that, that spicy? That, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. You're going to enjoy. Yeah, I think it looks, it looks pretty good to me. I mean. They've been, they've been killing me all day, you know, eating all this spicy, so I'm looking forward to something that tastes good. <laughs> Instead of just drinking Tabasco sauce all day. Okay. And all the spices come from Sri Lanka too. Alright, yeah. so Sri Lanka is an island. Yeah. You learn something new every single day, I had yeah. no clue. Basically, like Yeah, we are, we are like north of Australia and east of uh, Maldives. Oh wow. Maldive Islands, yeah. Okay, so it's like, far, is it far from India? Uh, 45 minutes by flight. Okay, cool. Yeah, less than an hour. Yeah. Hmm. From South India, yeah. yeah. Alright, so look, now we're getting the plating. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That's a lot. That's a lot. You can take home. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that looks delicious. I don't know. Okay, just from, let's go eat just now. Just from what it looks like. Uh. Thank you so much. It looks really good. Yeah, very welcome. Everything is spicy in Sri Lanka. So you, there you go. Yeah, so like, you think that like y'all's peppers are spicier? Yes, because okay. the Sri Lankan soil is so rich. So everything is spicy. Okay, good, good, good. So basically you're, you're asking if it's spicier than India because of where it's grown. Yeah, it's where it's grown because uh, everything is rich. Even the fruits, even the vegetables. The soil even, is rich. The, that's that's the whole secret there. So the soil is rich because it's grown on an island. Yes. Okay, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. So naturally, Sri Lankan food is gonna be spicier than Indian food. Yeah. So this is called one naan bread. So we make fifty of them every day for the kotu, mm. and then we chop. Okay, so that's and how much people like it, right? Yeah. This. I got you. So the secret ingredient in kotu is really the naan. Yes. So like the naan is what makes kotu special, right? Correct. Okay, yeah. so Indian naan, is that the same? No, as no, this is Sri Lankan. Sri Lankan naan is completely yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you learn something new every single day, man. So what, what is the difference in between the two naans? Okay, like, so naan is made out of wheat flour, but you have to mix it and then soak it on oil, in oil. Keep then, it for a day. How do they do it in India? Same. Same. But uh, India, they don't soak it in oil. 
Okay. They just make the flat bread and then put it in the clay oven. But when you make the bread, uh, when you bake it, uh, no oil, nothing. Wow, so there's a lot of differences in just the naan. So you can tell that like in the actual food that there's going to be differences in the kotu too as well, right? Uh -huh. So the kotu in, in Sri Lanka is going to taste completely different than the kotu in India, right? Of course, yes. Okay. Cool, so maybe we should check out some Indian kotu and see if it can even compare because I'm pretty sure Sri Lanka is going to be better, right? Sri Lanka is the best. It's not every day that I get to eat something for the first time. And today we have some Sri Lankan beef kotu. And I'm told that Sri Lankan does every spice better. They have better peppers, hotter peppers. They have better naan. You know, I'm, so I have high hopes walking in the door, but off the rip, I can smell the habaneros just off of the surface. You can see the chili peppers throughout this, and they try to put some vegetables to help you with the spice on top of there, but I, I really doubt that that's gonna help at all. So my strategy going into this is just to try to take it two bites at a time. So I take two bites, take a sip, two bites, take a sip, and just try to go as far as I can. No promises, but I, you know, I don't like to fail a challenge, so. Let's try to eat it all. Enough words, enough games. Let's just get straight to it. Mmm. So off the rip, obviously it's spicy, but if I'm being completely honest, the flavor is so good on this one that even though it's spicy, it's really enjoyable, honestly. It's, it's, it's really good. It's almost like, um, it's like rice and beans, but it has like, you know, cause like where I'm from, we eat rice and beans all the time. So that's like the best way for me to explain it, but it's spicier, it has more stuff in it. Um, you know, I haven't really had much today and this is the best thing that I've had all day, for sure. Maybe even all month, all month. So these are curry leaves. I've never had curry leaves. They said I could eat them, so I'm gonna try them. They do taste like curry though. Like, they taste just like curry, but like mild. It's like a mild curry. Hmm. It's like, remember when you were a kid and you ate leaves, but these ones are good, you know? Fun fact. Curry leaves actually can help with eyesight, stress, bacteria. Curry is just good for everything. I vote to start putting curry in literally everything. I mean, it doesn't even really taste like much. It's a mild flavor. It's a flavor that could be added without you really even knowing it unless it was this because basically, you know, I think that it's hot, that it's starting to creep up on me a little bit. I think that if I was to compare it on the scale of jalapeno to scorpion pepper, you know, it's not a Carolina Reaper, but it's like right under ghost pepper in between habanero, ghost pepper, somewhere around there. Um, so not the hottest thing I've ever had, but definitely the hottest from this region of the world, for sure. You know, it's like it's like with the Szechuan spice that we had that one time. It's like it's, a num it's almost like a numbing agent, but you know, it's it's just spice, man. There's there's a world there's a world of spice that we do not know here in America, and I'm gonna expose that. You know what I'm saying? I need more spices, and this is righteous. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's crazy that, it's crazy that my ears are ringing right now, actually. After that bite, I don't know. I took that last sip of that Coke, my ears started ringing, fam. I feel like I'm boxing or something. I feel like I'm in the ring. I'm boxing the Kato. I'm boxing the Kato, man. So I know I said, that it wasn't hot and all that, but I, I think I should elaborate just a little bit on what I mean. Okay, so I have a tendency to put my foot in my mouth and, you know, rate things early, you know? So for me, when I eat anything spicy, even scorpion peppers, I won't feel anything in the mouth. I don't know why, I guess my, t my, my taste buds or my tongue has just evolved to the point now where my tolerance, it just doesn't affect me in the mouth. However, 
as you can tell, after I have been sitting here for like five minutes, it all hit me like at once in the stomach. So the gut bomb, I'm always gonna feel the gut bomb even if I don't feel the mouth burn. So it just shows you that when, when there's a capsation immunity spectrum, you know, you don't know where you may fall on it. You may fall in a place where like you feel the mouth pain but not the gut pain. You may feel everything. You may feel nothing. It just shows you that not everyone is the same. Not everyone can handle the same amount of spice. And I won't lie, it's spicier than I thought it would be. And that is the only way to eat Sri Lankan beef kato from the beginning to the end. And if you want to find some good kato, just come around here because they like to add habaneros to it. So out of all, I probably would give it an eight out of 10 on spice and a nine out of 10 on flavor. I loved it. I think that the beef is amazing. I don't think it would taste the same with any other protein. I think beef is the perfect choice for kato in my opinion. The naan in the kato is insane. I never even thought about the concept of putting naan into the food when you're cooking it. I always thought about naan as being on the side, but this dish takes naan and puts it in it. So it's pretty cool. Good job. Uh -huh. That's, Isn't that's it a dessert? Very, very famous dessert. It's called watalapam. Watalapam. Yes. So while I enjoy this watalapam, make sure to go get you some kato. Eat your hot sauce. Until next time, stay spicy, my friends. What is this? <laughs> it's water like, up. up. <laughs> it reminds me of Trace Leches cake. Have you ever had Trace Leches? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of Trace Leches. This is coconut eggs, actually, coconut milk, eggs, and honey, coconut honey. I think that we should make a series out of it. Trying new foods that are spicy for the first time. So if you have any foods from around the world that you think that we should try, please let me know down below. So yeah, I just learned today that Sri Lankan food blows my mind from main dish to dessert. Um, it's, it's truly remarkable. Um, I've never been to that country, but after having the food, I really wanna go. Um, I think that it would be like a, a very spicy journey, but also a very sweet journey because if the country is anything like the dessert, I know that it would be very, very sweet because you can tell that all their food and their dessert is cooked with love, passion, years of confidence. And that is something that I personally will come back to experience time and time again. So I can't thank the chefs enough and wow. They try to tell me it wasn't gonna be that spicy. They wouldn't even tell me what was in it. Damn. <laughs>